Hi, this is Rabbi Mark Baker, head of school at Gann Academy. A few weeks ago, I shared the vision of our Evolving Israel program. Today, I want to take a couple of minutes to share some thoughts about educational innovation here at Gann and a few concrete updates about the evolution of our technology and this facility. Gann has always been at the forefront of educational thinking and pushing the boundaries of what teaching and learning can look like. Whether our students are traveling the country and the world on Exploration Week or building robots and go-karts, whether we're empowering our students to design their own pluralistic Shabbatonim, or whether our students are in the classroom in a great book style seminar, learning how to be in conversation with each other without the teacher at the center, these kinds of pedagogies are developing in our, skill, in our students the skills and capacities to be successful in our changing 21st century world. Skills and capacities like creativity. Our students learn that they can be creators of new knowledge and information rather than simply consumers and recipients of information that their teachers transmit to them. Our students learn to be collaborators and they see the power of working together in groups toward common goals. Our students learn to think critically and to challenge conventional thinking and they understand that questions are often more important than answers. And more and more in our changing 21st century world, our stu students are learning and need to continue to learn how to be analyzers and curators, contextualizers and synthesizers of the mass of information that they have at their fingertips. In the coming years, our teachers are going to be working together across the curriculum to ensure that these and other core skills are integrated into all of our disciplines and all of our courses. We're going to be giving our teachers the professional development that they need in order to work collaboratively with each other to ensure that pedagogies in the classroom lead to these student outcomes. And in order to support this important work, we're making some changes to our classrooms and we're upgrading our technology. I'm standing right now in a prototype classroom. You can see behind me, we took down our electronic smart boards and we've replaced them with whiteboard paint on the entire wall. This creates more space and more opportunities for student work and creativity. We're also installing wireless projectors in every classroom. Our teachers are going to be able to connect to these wireless projectors through new computers that we're giving them this summer. We're giving all of our teachers two-in-one laptops. As you can see, this can be a laptop and it also serves as a tablet. And the power of this tablet with wireless projectors and this whiteboard wall is that teachers are untethered from the front of the classroom. No longer do they need to be docked in order to write on this wall. Instead, teachers can move around the classroom working with individual students and groups and while they're working with them, write on the board for all students to see. Eventually, I expect that our students as well will be connecting to these projectors because in the coming year, we're rolling out a bring your own device policy. Not for this coming school year, but for the 2016-17 school year, we're going to be expecting all of our students to have laptops in order to support their learning in their, class, in their classrooms. We know now that the majority of our students own and bring laptops to school, but in order to systematize this and to support learning for all students throughout the school, we're going to be developing specifications that student laptops need to have so that our teachers can work on building pedagogies in their classrooms that incorporate technology in meaningful and effective ways. While this doesn't start until the 2016-17 school year, if you are a parent or a student who's considering buying a laptop this summer or in the coming year, please click on the link below or go onto On Campus into our topics page for technology in order to find those specifications. Of course, you can be in touch with the school if you want to learn more about this. I am so excited about these improvements and the evolution, not only of our technology and our facility, but more importantly, of the teaching and learning that this technology and this facility serves. GAN will continue to push the edge of thinking about what it looks like to teach and learn and to prepare students to thrive in the 21st century. And I encourage you to be on the lookout for more information about this in the coming months. I wish everyone a wonderful summer. Thanks.